Hello, welcome. Good Hi, evening. Hi. It's just me and Matthew tonight. Matthew, you're gonna start Insta. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Give us a sec to get the other Insta Insta fans online. I gotta, I gotta smile away. <laughs> Is one, it on? One. There we go. Hello, welcome. Hi, Instagram. Hi, Facebook. Hi, YouTube. Welcome to Create with Fabricate. And um, I am Amanda. If you don't know me, Matthew is on the small screen there in your left. Um, and yeah, this is our weekly, even though it hasn't been for two weeks, our weekly Create with Fabric 8, where we uh, talk pink poo emoji and we also do a project. So, who am I? I'm Amanda. And uh, normally my daughter Lisa is with us, but she's busy tonight. Matthew is uh, Lisa's partner in crime and in everything else. And um, we are from the company called Fabric 8. And that's the word fabric with a number 8. And we are a creative supply store specializing in sewing, knitting, crochet. And we have some crafts. We're forever expanding our range. So if you want to find us online, we at www.fabric, the word, number 8.co.za. And what are we doing tonight? Well, this is called Create with Fabric 8, and we try and do this once a week. And we know there's been disaster and um, power cuts and water problems in Cape Town. So we're not expecting a lot of people, but I hope, I always hope. Anyway, so um, yeah, we do this once a week, and it is... For you guys to talk to me, to uh, I call it community building, um, so that you can ask some questions, share some ideas, and all of that for about 30 minutes. And then I start, normally start a tutorial on a project which I design the pattern for, and I write the instructions, and that is available online for you for free. We give them away for free free for a year and then they go off because the website needs space we can't just keep adding stuff and um we will have a pattern book available for sale pretty soon um i have now given myself a deadline so it will be by june the beginning of june um, so then you can buy all the old patterns that we've already done and also um, then obviously get all the patterns as we go through the year. Um, and uh, what else do I have to say? Oh, we also have um, awesome um, WhatsApp groups. They are really social and they're really nice and they're helpful and they are managed very well so far. We do not allow any rudeness or anything like that. We also check every single number to make sure that we do not get spammers. It does sometimes happen, but we have had a good run, touch wood, for a while. Um, we have a two sewing groups. We have a Nordwerk groupie, we have a knitting, crochet, quilt, embroidery. I don't know what else got a lot of whatsapp groups um those are also available on our website the links to them um if you want to know how to find the patterns and the whatsapp groups um if you go to our website you'll see that like horizontal pink um menu and in that menu there'll be a heading saying free sewing lessons that is that'll take you here and i think that's also where the whatsapp groups is if they not um we shall uh, as lisa is not here we shall give them to you again next week <laughs> there's a few people on here now lisa's obviously saying hi hello um, lisa both, there's also there's two lisa saying oh, lisa, hi. K. Okay. No, lisa bragg oh lisa bragg is she new I think so. Let's brag. Are you new? Are you new? Um, Please let us know if you're new and you haven't been here before so we can give you a shout out. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, Matthew is in control of, of, of stopping me talking and giving me um, the questions. Bianca's also here. Hello, says, Bianca. Hello. Hello. Um, MK says hi, Amanda. Hello, MK. And Gail Frick 
Hello, Gail. And Kelvin on Instagram says, greetings from Brazil. Oh, Kelvin, wonderful. Hi, yes. How are you? Haven't, I haven't spoken to you in a while. I've, um, let me, let me give my excuse, um, over the, uh, the, the internet. Um, I've had a really bad, uh, month, family month. I'm not going to share with everyone, but we've had, um, tragedy, tragedy and really bad things happen. So I have not really been available. And this is also the reason why the lives have been slightly in, um, what is the word matthew help me not as for infrequent there we go um so thanks kelvin i know we we still need to talk i know about that and um this week i am back <laughs> lisa bragg says i'm not new and lisa says that we're very uneducated with altos lisa has seen her around i don't know oh, lisa but see i don't normally get all the she just goes i know there's a lisa k and I've never heard Lisa brag. Maybe she doesn't read the second name and that's how we're not. No, she could honestly read the second name and I wouldn't remember. Uh, I am really bad with names. Listen, Instagrammers, let me tell you, um, we have more views and a better sound on YouTube and Facebook. Um, I mean, obviously, please stay on in Instagram if that's your thing, but w Instagram limits us to a upright um, view and we can't do extra screens in there so if you're really into the 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 project um and you want to see closer and better then youtube and facebook is your way to go um please like and subscribe even on youtube if you can't get to speak to us if you if the comments is not working on youtube just subscribe then you can comment um not youtube or me or us will spam you from youtube that i actually don't even know how we would do that so and um you know i'm i'm subscribed to many people on youtube and i i receive no youtube spam so and then um please join in the conversation ask your questions say hi um it's always it makes it so much more fun if people talk with me otherwise i'm just talking to these two old phones <laughs> and uh, yeah all right any any anyone anything can i jackie summer says hi hello jackie yeah see lisa's not yeah i was gonna tell her that you said she must she must leave me alone she must say me my sickle knee i saw jackie in the wimpy in cape gate this week so yeah please guys if you recognize me <laughs> i won't recognize you you are behind a old phone as i said you're welcome. Please come up and say hi. Um, if I don't, I, you know, I always like walk and smile. And if a person smiles a lot back, then I like, oh, oh I'm sure that person knows, knows me. And I would like to get to know you guys also. So, yeah, do not feel like strangers. Introduce yourself. And then I can give you a shout out like Jackie this week. Um, yeah. All right. Anyone? Also, um, Bianca did say earlier, she really likes your cup. Oh, yeah, thank you. Here. Thank you. Thank you. This is um, imported from 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 the America. But um, yeah, the, I'm, I'm hoping to actually be able to supply these. But um, that's like speaking to people in foreign language is very difficult. Okay, so I'm going to just do a few things. Please feel free to talk in between. Matthew will read out. If if Matthew misses your question and you feel like it hasn't been answered, just ask it again. We don't get offended. Okay. All right. Um, just very, very cool event thing happening. And I need you to save the date. Every Cape Townian, everyone that can get to Cape Town, um, sort of in between northern and suburbs southern suburbs um the 9th of june we are having a big to do Ta-da! <laughs> um it's on a sunday and the reason for this people was complaining but um it's gonna be an all-day event so it will be if there's church or something that you need to do it will be after church um but the problem is with the bigger venues is they are all booked for Saturdays believe it or not and um, 
yeah so this is the quickest closest nicest biggest one we could get and then unfortunately as i said it's on a sunday it doesn't bother me um because you can still do your thing and then just arrive in between um it'll probably be from i would say about 10 to about 4 so please guys if you in cape town or you coming to cape town or you can come to cape town the 9th of june we are having a huge event okay so as per usual we'll have giveaways free gifts we'll have a goodie bags we'll have what was that word again matthew i keep forgetting raffles, raffles. we'll have many many things it's also not just going to be us um so yeah save the date we will soon give you more information all right okay so i'm going to just talk through a few things a few uh, it's not necessarily new um it's just that countess nail says hi hello hello get his high man the car in here not new but leaves early for choir practice oh much afterwards oh okay cool and lisa k yeah. is also here now lisa k is now here officially she has joined yes okay. i just stapled and there's people that, uh, bianca says she'll be there the 6th of june i mean the 9th awesome of june. awesome lisa Brax says, i wish i could join you in cape town lisa this is the start of something okay if this really if this takes off if this works we shall be i don't want to say this but we shall be considering doing other provinces but we have to first get a hold and control of this one event and and see what the interest is also that's the problem okay so i'm going to just give you a few things that i haven't spoken to you about in a very long time so this is really cool guys i've got one Mine is just in the old box. We can't get those boxes anymore. So this is like an Optima little bucky. So it's actually quite quite a fancy schmancy. And I quite like it that you can just... It, it carries so liquor. Okay, so this is like a, my idea of the base, basic things you'll need in a sewing machine. Ne? It's a sewing machine um, yes. toolkit. Okay. All right. So this is obviously your tweezer, which um, maybe you don't use them so much in sewing with a normal sewing machine, but you do use them a lot to thread your overlocker. And um, I also use them when I'm sewing as a, what, what you call an extra finger. So if you, if you want to go closer to the needle and you don't want to put your finger in there, is it not, is it coming in? What's wrong? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm I can just, put I'm, it on white. There we go. No, no, no. I'm, I'm looking at it so I can post, oh, I can post okay. the link in on the in the chat. All right. And then um, this little handy double-sided uh, machine cleaning brush is in there. And then we also have the little plastic one, which is really lucky to get out the fluffs and so on. Um, we have the small and the bigger uh, screwdrivers. That's always handy, and, and one tends to lose the ones that you get sometimes, especially if your machine is, is an older one. There's the little plastic seam guide, magnetic, so it helps you... It, oh gosh, it actually sticks to the machine and helps you sew straight. Um, I don't know why there's two in here. But it is also a little needle threader. So if you don't have like my machine, the auto threader, then this helps a lot. And then this strange little tool is called an overlock threader. Okay, so this specifically is for the older um, overlockers where you have to have to go underneath and through. And this is also a threader so you can see it has that little thing and then it has a little stick on hook for the side of your machine to hang your little scissors scissors is the word i'm looking for little scissors on so these these we used to sell a lot but i think they've like you know with the problem with the um i don't even know what's that um the problem with the website is things get sort of 
And I want to say archive, but they moved down so far because we we loaded this what like two two years ago. So people tend to not see them. So that's why I'm showing you this. Okay. Other thing that I wanted to um, get your attention on is that we have the complete range of Cerulean sewing thread colors. All of them. Can you see it? Is it in? Am I in? Yes. Okay. Oh, sorry, so do we have all of these good. in stock in the thousand meter spools, which are these. Okay. All right. But a lot of people don't know. They also come in the 5,000 meter spools. And all of these colors are available in the 5,000 meter spools. Now, if you struggle to um, order them, because they are a little bit more difficult on the website we are still working on a plan to get them easier you're welcome to just whatsapp and 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 order your colors all right so the and code also yeah and there are people saying some hello. things about some of the stuff so Antoinette says she's hello lisa says hello. That i do not interrupt you as much as she does because <laughs> i have a healthy dose of fear um <laughs> And then and this is warning don't use the owl for anything other than sewing she broke hers the i one? think it, it's a w l a w l all i thought it was owl i didn't think that you should oh, use yeah. a pet to try and yeah do um did she buy the 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 one that says budget or I, oh my god and lisa is accusing her of doing dodgy things with it oh that it's not good okay so um please send us a whatsapp if you're struggling to order the the bigger spools and the codes are the same um so you can you can order this this color in this size by just saying you want the 5000 meter of this okay all right so that's that um anyone here uh, this has been one of our best sellers the t-shirt yarn um, the reason why we have stock and don't have stock and then ugh, is because this is actually an end of range. All right. So we we order all the colors and then we only get some of the colors. OK, so we have received quite a bit of stock again, obviously not in all the colors. So if you working on a project buy everything you need because they might not be available again but the price is really good okay so we got quite a few colors of this in again and then this we haven't spoken uh, uh we haven't spoken about this since i think when we really started these are little embroidery kits that we also keep um and they are obviously for kids so um or they, someone like me or someone like matthew so i think they are um these half cross stitch that means that it is tapestry these ones and then i only took one of these but we also have little tiny cross stitch patterns for kids who you know like holiday projects or just wanting to get them into it um so yeah we haven't i've actually never had these on a live and then just one more thing then we're gonna chat again is um a lot of people you this this is uh super 99 it's em embroidery adhesive spray and we also have the madeira but this one is slightly less pricey and what i use it for a lot is when i'm doing applique work so it's not only for embroidery machines it is a way to stick fabric to step to fabric all right so you just spray it onto the bit that you want to stick down onto another fabric and then you're gonna like sew around it or whatever so yeah we have two spray adhesives that are specially made for fabric so um yeah and they, they're actually quite fun to work with when you work um do some um applique work or even just basting things you can spray baste them so that they stay together and they don't fall apart i'm not talking about seams i'm talking about say you wanna um you you don't have uh, uh like stick on fusing you know like a fusible interfacing it's called 
you can fuse your interfacing to your fabric with this also so this is just a handy sort of thing to have there when you're sewing and you're struggling to keep things together with uh, with quilting also i know that can be a problem and it just sort of it doesn't stick like freaking um contact glue it just keeps it nice and flat and together all right so that's all the bits i wanted to say tonight about um products is there any questions for me um guys please like and subscribe lisa says i have to say it and if lisa hears that i didn't say it then i will not be let into the house tonight yeah um, that's yes and Jeanette said that she used she used it to try and remove hard candle wax from its holder. Oh, oh. maybe a knife next time. Bianca said pricing for the thousand meters and the five thousand meter spool. I don't know meters. She said one thousand MT and five thousand MT. Bianca, it's on the website. I do not know the prices out of my head. I have three thousand five hundred products here. Gail I used to know. Sorry. Gail mm. fixes, can we use that spray to help keep batting to fabric? And then she said, okay, I already answered. Oh, okay. Cool. Great. I'm glad. <laughs> but I felt like I should read it anyway. <laughs> people get upset. <laughs> then Bianca said, bye, Lisa. Miss you already. Bianca, I take that personally. If I'm not good enough for you, I do think that you, that's very rude to, to me. Any other questions? To me, B says new here. Hello. Hello, to me. <laughs> Welcome. <clears throat> okay guys so tonight's project i uh, i will keep answering questions don't feel you can not interrupt me matthew knows how to do that so tonight's project is um a few weeks back we did a duffel bag and it was some i called it something like oh so i don't know duffel bag but since then i thought to myself you know that's not actually a classic but duffel bag so tonight we're doing a classic round round cylinder whatever tubey cylinder duffel bag okay so um it's it's sort of a, a redo but it's not a redo it's a it's an add-on duffel bag all right so pattern wise you're gonna have this which is your main bag you're gonna have this which is your side circles um you're gonna have that which says bottom panel and you're gonna have your side pockets and then bag straps all right so um the instructions tell you um very clearly how and what to to um cut of every pattern piece all right so um just to show you um you will also see that i all i'm gonna try and actually highlight them now but i'm calling them ami's top tips ami is my nickname so um i'll have my top tips in there every time the same tip but so that you guys also get to like recognize and learn them so you'll see that when i do compressed batting which i'm ironing onto my fabric i always cut it a centimeter smaller because that um, prevents us from having extremely thick, bulky seams. All right. So this is my lining fabric. There we go. And that is my lining fabric. So as per usual, I have worked a little bit ahead. Otherwise, we do not get to finish. We're still not going to finish, I think. But um, I will try and show you as much as i can and get it done as quick as possible all right so obviously these two pieces you're gonna have two pieces like this which is your main bag this is the lining but you're also gonna have two pieces like this which is the outside bag all right so what you're gonna do then is you're gonna put them face to face right side to right side and you are going to pin the one long side and sew a one centimeter seam allowance then you're going to open and iron it nice and neatly all right and that will then look something like this 
obviously I've added to it already and I will explain how and what I've added but I can just keep the iron let me just put the iron this side Yang says hi Matthew he needs to sew too <laughs> I have many talents okay I have some talents and none of them involve any type of handiwork or handwork <laughs> did you see my previous question on a different video about a camera to see what you see when you're sewing Oh, uh, about a close-up on the sewing machine. Oh. I'm yeah, we you. had one of those, and for some reason, it just doesn't want to work anymore. We are working on that problem. Okay, I'm so sorry. All right, so, so this is the two pieces sewn together there, seam opened, and nicely ironed flat, okay? Then, we have these round duffel bag side pockets. Now... For every side pocket, there's a mistake on the pattern, but it, it's not a mistake. It's if you want one bag, you need... So if you want two bags, one on each side, you need to double this. All right. Okay, so this is per pocket. We need two pieces. You can see here. What I've done is I've taken the two pieces like this, put them face to face, sewn down there, turned it over, and then just on the top, I've given it a top stitch and I've just added this little trim to give it a little bit of fancy mansion man. Okay, and they will then come out this size. All right, and if you look at the pattern that I've given, the, the big pattern, which is this bit, you will see that that bit is there, okay? And this, just with the top stitch there, the two pieces together, just neatly goes there. There's the mark. And you just pin it in place. You don't have to edge, do anything to the edge, all right? You just pin it in place there. And then you, um, once you've pinned that in place, the two pockets, even this is open, this is all open, don't worry about that, okay? You will again using your pattern markings you will add your straps and the edge of the strap sews this little baggie to the main bag all right so yeah, i love the fabric amanda is it on the side too no 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 <laughs> i d unfortunately this is this is my fabric okay so i don't know if this all fits in but I want you to see, can you see? There's my straps. This can, if you make it a slightly longer, you can actually just sew right through. It doesn't need to be two separate pieces, but anyway. Okay, so once that is done, so I have my pockets here, but this is still raw edge, and this is still raw edge. The next part, piece of fabric, oh, gosh, 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 is called the bottom panel, okay? So the bottom panel is just a piece of fabric which we fuse again once again and then can you see that i have ironed back the seam allowance of one centimeter all right and now i need to actually get up without making that chair noise which always happens and now once i've done this i'm just gonna quickly get a center mark here and a center mark here it's actually quite an easy bag and stuff all right so i'm gonna can you see i'm gonna match up my center there to the center bottom seam and i'm gonna pin that down and then i'm also gonna match it up on this side and pin that down all right and then all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just pin this in place all right like that and like this and as you can see i've already brought over the pattern markings to make sure that i'm on the right spot 
all right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just with a top stitch like that and then it sort of prettys up everything and it's all done and correct so again i always just pin these so that it doesn't get in my way and by accident get under and then i sew my straps yeah is that a question well i meant to well done all the prep work amanda need to place an order for the batting soon and some yarn all right so i'm going to just do the top sound stitching issue, apparently it resolves itself if any of you have any sound issues just let me know okay also um i don't know if the the machine still cuts out the sound because i'm going to i don't think now. so that's why we put it the, oh, okay. the mic all right you guys can't see it but we did things so that wouldn't happen let me just... okay cool um all right so i'm just gonna top stitch down here oh my machine wants to work with me okay i always say guys standing and sewing is is not the most comfortable situation but that sitting and sewing on a live would also not oh see what i said about pinning stuff i have pinned the pattern to the back okay <laughs> all right let's just get this top stitch done the other side i sort of pull it like that there we go um if you're getting if you feel like i didn't give you enough instructions tonight the instructions are really bit by bit it's all written down so um and if you're struggling the previous um duffel we did we also did uh, instructions for and a youtube so i'm sure between the two you will get everything you need but the last one we didn't we couldn't get finished in one um session so that's why i did a little bit more of the prep work but the prep work is the the, the work i did is literally these pictures i, I if you look at the instructions just to give you an idea see i've literally drawn pictures so it is very very simple to figure out okay all right so now that is done okay let's just let's just get that one cut there all right so now we're going to put something that i've actually never used before um we are actually going to put bag feet on it, which are here somewhere. All right. So these come in a pack of six. They are called bag bottom feet or bag feet bottom or, or something to that effect. All right. And what you're going to do is you are going to, hopefully this works. Probably yes no i'm gonna have to okay so i'm gonna just move this but i'm, I'm getting in here so that we can still see um that's a little bit too many layers there so i'm gonna move it like this so you can still see and i'm gonna get my stanley knife and i'm just gonna cut a small slip oh not a small slip a small slit actually gonna just do a little bit at a time there we go and hopefully this just goes through now <laughs> there we go and this one there we go and turning them over you just split the two feet there and I, I don't think this is in the camera anymore 
there we go and so you put them through and you're gonna just split the two feet there we go and those are the bags feet on i'm gonna just quickly do these two so these are quite cute i've never used them myself but they i quite like them they look very they look very prof, prof, profesh, professional so that's through and that is through there and we're just going to turn it over and open up these feet there we go come on there we go and that is that we have a bag with feet how fancy is that <laughs> very cute okay so now i am going to get ready to start with my zip any questions none whatsoever great <laughs> i'm just pinning this here in the middle because now we are going to start sewing the zip litter bags and you can also put those straps into the pockets instead of pinning so you can sew that center bottom and then Bianca said, wouldn't that bulge? Bianca said, then Lisa said, only while sewing, you pull the straps out of the pockets afterwards, so only get the straps out of the way for sewing. Oh, I hear what you're saying. It can go in, yeah. That's fire. Oh, look, I like that plan. But yes, it can. You can you can do whatever you like with the this, this straps. Okay, so um, I have this very bright neon zip. But that is all I had. So that is what it's going to be now. So now, next plan is, this is the right side of the fabric. And that is the right side of my zip. So I am going to pin my zip, the right side of my zip, to the right side of my fabric on that side first all right get that there and there and then we are gonna attach the zip by using a zip foot all right so we're gonna just quickly change our machine foot to the zip foot because that gets you the reason we use a zip foot is it gets you closer to the zip teeth. Yay! All right, so I'm going to just sew that to the top of my bag. I think actually I can move this up a little bit so that it's more even, the gap. There we go. Okay. So I want to get as close as I can to my zip teeth without obviously breaking my machine or breaking a needle. So we're going to go there and start. So I'm going to go as close as I can to, okay, and just give it that little bit. Close as I can get with the zip foot. The zip foot won't allow you to go closer than is safe, obviously. Okay, so we needle in, pass this through. It's always a pain with these big plastic zips. So you you almost want to get your needle, lift your foot. It's it's a absolute. You need another hand. See. <laughs> Yeah, I need another hand. There we go. It's done. It's always the big, I use these big, um, what's it, open-ended zips. And they, uh, okay, so now my zip foot has lost its way. Okay, here we go. Got it again. 
Dean Friedrich says, Hello, how would Dean. something like this be for someone with little to no sewing slash skills or experience? We have many, many, many um, different projects. And um, this would not be the first project I would attempt. Um, we have quite a few <laughs> um, projects that are simpler and more beginner level. This would probably be, um, I would say, intermediate. This is like if you've done a few things and you feel comfortable with your sewing machine and so on, then this is the project I would attempt, but not my first sewing project. All right, so that is that. It is done. It is connected. Can you see? So now we're going to turn this over. All right. And we're going to line it up. So that the two pieces line up, <laughs> line it up so that the two pieces line up. And you can open your zip now a little bit. And the reason we open the zip there now is so that when we turn everything over and out, we can actually get into the bag. So otherwise, I've, I've had this before where I forget to leave a bit of the zip open. And then I have to open the zip from the back without the puller. Because the puller is on the other side. So it's always good to open your zip a little bit while getting ready. Are you cooking, Dean? Dean said he would, he would tune in tonight while he's cooking. He's supper <laughs> okay so now we're just gonna sew the other side of the zip it's the same thing it's always good to help your zip foot over the beginning and the end as i said i use these really thick chunky um open-ended zips so they they don't always stay underneath your zip foot <laughs> so just keep helping it dean says that he, is, he just got home he's about to start cooking soon <laughs> because i saw the random lag spike they're not sure what happened there it was really quite random i'm not sure yes about that i think it's back to normal now um yes people love the zips bianca and internet are going crazy over there the color i see the color and the size they're like the big oh yeah they are no i i especially on bags i don't like using the, the oh what am i doing they are quite painful to sew because of the 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 foot tends to want to fall off because it's so big so the, the foot's not really made for this thick zip but uh, you know we just we just help it over the hill yeah see now it's it's refusing to stay under the foot so i'm gonna have to there hold it right there okay we're almost done with the zip <clears throat> Are you guys having um, load shedding issues? Because Lisa says there's quite a few um, spots in Cape Town that's struggling with power. And I don't know, I heard something about like Cryfontaine area has um, power issues and, 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 and. All right. Um, handy tip always when you're working with zips, do not allow these threads to stay get rid of them because if they get stuck in your zip they are quite painful to remove okay guys so that if i can if i can listen to my own um see that little those threads Ugh, painful anyway there's our zip 
and we have a strange weird looking tube all right so do not you can I, I call this finger ironing you can finger iron it but don't actually iron it closed for yet okay so next bit we also have a full tutorial if you go back a few um a bit you'll find a tutorial of how to do piping all right so using normal um bias binding and some rope you can make your own piping in any color and i've already done that because we do have a a, a, a tutorial on piping so you don't have to pipe this this bit the whole piping bit can be left out it doesn't need to be there um if it if it freaks you out a little bit just leave it out it the the piping is just for pretty it doesn't have to be there Guys, all right if any of you are looking for the patterns and that they're all available in the pin comment on youtube lisa it's lisa's comment it is pinned um dean was asking if they're oh. going to do the whole bag today or i mean like you know the whole bag or just or you're just showing the people how to do it up um we are we are sort of going through the whole bag but um because because of it being alive we cannot physically do the whole thing because we'll be here for a few hours so that's why i always do some prep work and that's why i say this is not really a beginners if you've worked a few of my patterns um then you'll be used to me prepping and working ahead of time um, and then it's easy to figure out but if there's ever anything that you struggle with we mostly have done a, if 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 i tend to just pass over things and it and you want to go like uh, stop there why is she not explaining that it is because we already done that and we have a tutorial somewhere on that so you can just um check and find it all right so these are our two side panels and all i've done now is i've just marked my quarters all right so as i said this has uh, piping in it it doesn't need piping if you are scared of piping leave it out make your first one without piping all right um and then maybe for a later one you could uh explore doing the piping all right so what we're doing now is we are just let me just open this up because it's going to be in our way we are going to just pin the zip in place at the top notch there guys and if you haven't liked it, the uh, other liked side. it please like and if you can't chat in the chat it's because you're not subscribed so you should do that <laughs> yes do that now i am i'm gonna go on uh, uh, there is lag until you <laughs> chanel bothman on facebook says it can't be stuck for a beer yes thumbs up Rose. you have to L even matthews prepared speaking the afrikaans i can buy more afrikaans bro. it's your amanda's net real it's your Jij doet prachtig. Dus prachtig. Prachtig. Oké, okay, so I'm just gonna pin all around. Pinning in my side. Closing up my tube, basically. <coughs> We've also done this many times, so if I, if I, but I'll show you now. I'm just, I should actually pin here where you guys can see. No, then I don't have to explain myself so well. Okay, so this should just fit in here perfectly. If you have a good pattern maker. Which, which, you know, this, this person, this pattern maker, she's freaking brilliant. It's like awesome. It just fits. She's talking about herself. <laughs> that is called it's arrogant. It's just right. great. It, I wish I could work with pattern makers like this. 
so it just you just pin it around if you've got the top and the bottom notches done you're just gonna pin all the way around see this is the part that always takes a little bit long so let's see i don't know how are we doing for time okay we're good we're good we might finish just get so worried that we it's just so awful to have to go over to next week with a pattern all right if you are if you have done um like me here and you have piping in here uh, a, a tip is again to use your when you're sewing this all together because of that piping being there you're going to find it much easier if you sew with a zip foot because again can you see i've made a tube because again the zip foot is going to keep you away from um sewing the over the piping or into the piping or whatever all right so this again i'm just pinning the top here see i'm not pinning my zip completely flat here because we are gonna be using those little zip flaps again when we attach the lining oh and i keep coming off this there we go and again we're just going around so any questions now is a good time because i am just gonna be pinning Guys, don't let anyone tell you that, oh, you pin so much. You should pin less. I would rather pin more and sew less or unpick less. Is the other problem that you get if you haven't pinned correctly. Are people bullying me because I didn't go top view? Guys, I the, 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 it did not auto scroll. I am very sorry. I didn't think there were more comments. I missed the little blue arrow. So um, yes, so that was my bad. I did. I thought we just scroll down, but I'm not sure there's that much to see now. The top yeah, view I'm, I'm, is that interesting. Are you I'm, happy now? I'm doing. I'm doing my best to stay in the top view, but I keep forgetting. See, I was actually just trying to make Amanda look good by making me make the mistakes and not her. I am a gentleman like that. <laughs> um, yes. People, um, Dean's asking other questions like, how long does this go till? Um, we normally go to 8.30, but if you ask Amanda nicely, I'm sure we can stretch it to like 10, 11 tonight. We can just no, no. They're going to lo yet, they're they're gonna lock us in here. I will. I we will. normally, it's normally about an hour, hour, uh, it's from 7 till about half past 8. So that's why I always in such a rush because firstly we are in an industrial area and they lock us in. Well, I suppose they will open the gate for us. I have come here and dropped all furniture at 11.30 before. And um, so so they, they normally close the gates at 9.00. So we just try and get out of here. And also, you know, being an industrial area, it's not super, super awesome to be here at night. So we don't want to go when the roads are like quiet. Um, and because we do not suffer a lot of load shedding here, that's why we actually do it here and not anywhere else. So, but I mean, since we, we we used to go longer and it i mean it wasn't better because it was longer i just did le did less prep work all right so now oh i have can you see a tube a round tube that looks like a duffel bag all right okay so now i'm gonna move this away again Guys, so, there's a poll. Um, please, everyone, vote in the poll to how late you want us to stream. I have given four different options. To Matthew. Um, the first one is 8.30 p.m. Don't let my little comments after the fact um, influence you. Make your own decisions. 
just wondering which one's gonna be the best probably best to sew like this so this is always a little bit of a struggle guys you just gotta keep your wits about you all right here we go it's off to the races and we're gonna start And as you can see, I'm using, no, I don't doubt you can see, but just trust me when I say this, we will get the, um, the, the close-up camera up and running again sometime. Um, want to get as close as you can to your piping. So I mean, that's why I'm using my zip foot. So that it actually helps me again keep away from the piping like it helps me keep away from the zip and again i always feel so uncomfortable it's because i can't really see what i'm doing because normally i would be here <laughs> so if i look unhandy it's because i am at this very moment not comfortable yeah, you said zip foot is awesome. Yeah, ne? If you know when to use it, it is a perfect sewing tool. I can see 16 of you watching on YouTube. Vote in our poll, please. It's very important to determine our fate. It's, <laughs> it, it, Matthew is occupying himself. <laughs> Do you want to hear how it's going? I really well don't want to know if people want it to be longer. Okay, this is not information I want. Well, there's no one voted for ten. If you want to know so far, no one voted for ten p.m. Okay, well, great. Everyone's on the same page. It seems then. like only two people voted for eleven p.m. <laughs> Three people said we can end at eight thirty, <laughs> but the biggest amount of votes at four votes is five a.m. tomorrow morning. Oh yeah, no, you guys are all very funny. I gotta say entertaining matthew oh 11 p.m just got one more vote now it's neck and neck for second place okay, well, i'm gonna have to sell the business because that's not gonna work for me lisa Bragg, matthew you got to let the man have some some time to herself and that's why we moved out now she has lots of time to herself and sometimes we should just stream all night no, no, Matthew, this is not going to be cool. I think we should do like a subathon. Okay, vibe. Matthew, I'm gonna you 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 want to play this game? You're gonna have to be here, ne? Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm I, I'm I'm willing to suffer so that you suffer too. Um, <laughs> Dean said sleepers for the week. He's on my side. Yeah, no, Dean is also very funny. I must say that because Dean actually typed it out, I real now realize that I spelled the week like it is in the week. So like that you should sleep not on the weekend. Um, Lisa said you should spend more time with me. She's also on my side. Okay, well, Lisa, she's trying just trying to get rid of you. I, I know. I've got new information. This is just no. Oh, guys, this is always the most painful thing to sew. Anyway, so I think. See, this is what I always. I, I wish I could do this part when i'm not on live but i can't do this because i can't go to this part and then you guys are not going to know what how when did i get there so yeah so you just have to bear with me and play matthew's games Um, I, I just, where did I start? Okay, I'm almost around. Jeez, man. And that's just the one. As I said, this normally goes a lot quicker if I'm firstly face to face to the sewing machine and not above it. And secondly, yeah, 
there is no second. <laughs> Secondly, there is no second. Where did I start? Just yeah. I don't actually know where I started. Yeah, it looks like I Okay. All right. Oh, oh. I did. I did to miss a bit. What did I have to do? Ugh. Ugh. Where's my unpicker? I missed a bit. Thought I wasn't done, but let me just quickly open this up again so we can get that little bit in there. Sorry guys, as I said, you get the real so, so not me figuring all out before you guys are here. Um, Full disclosure, me and Lisa are busy fighting in the uh, comment fight. section. Don't fight. On I'm going to put Jackie on you. Where's Jackie? Lisa, Lisa timed me out on my normal account, so I timed her out with using the Fabric 8 account because that's stronger. Jeez. <laughs> oh, so, so I won. Children, I thought I'd already. I, I've got grown up kids, but now I see. Now I see differently. Okay, sorry, I just missed a bit. It's so many lines sewn here that I couldn't figure out if I'd sewn it or not. I'm just gonna quickly fix up this last bit without pinning. Going MacGyver, yeah. Okay, that that should be it. So enough looks Emma. Okay, unfortunately I have another whole side to do, but I wanted to just show you the piping. Okay, let's just finish up. Let's just get it done first. Because I am going to stick myself. Everyone's very quiet tonight. Or is Matthew just not giving me they money? Were just, they were like, people were supporting Letha, and then they were like, in, this is so much fun. Boy, Amanda, boys never grow up. <laughs> this is the true. Said, I'm enjoying this. And then she's not your pain, Lisa, that Matthew is timed out. Guys, for the people who missed it, I won that fight. I timed her out. I won. Bianca's also loving the back. Oh, yeah. Bianca, this is getting... I'm actually going to sit down. I actually can't see. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm committing to sitting and sewing again. Okay, let's go. Start the start your engines. Oh jeez, now I have vroom, vroom. something stuck here again. All right, just imagine if I if I struggle like this. I don't know what's going on. I think my machine is not happy. Something is just doesn't want to sew i have to like pull it through so let's just give it a break you know why it's doing this nothing in its way what is your problem just so man don't give me no trouble oh there we go it was just not being up to it Dean says we're quiet because we're paying attention like good students. Dean <laughs> doesn't know these people. You're watching me suffer. <laughs> and then it says I've never tried piping. Your piping is very cool, but it's it's I always want to say it, it takes time. So you really wanna 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 have it. You really it it it's it's quite painful, especially with this, where we're also sewing with um bat batting. So it, it gets a little bit difficult to get in here and get the piping perfect. 
because the betting is now everywhere in my way. Gotta say it's much easier if, if you can see. <laughs> Seeing is, is quite crucial when you're sewing. What is happening? What are we doing? Oh, power oh, cattle. Okay. Sorry, I should have given you feet. Almost there, almost there. There's not going to be a perfect spell, i got to be honest with you. Because I am... Jan says, Matthew, can you show the other t-shirt yarn colors? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I will do that just now. And everyone's just commenting food stuff now, making me hungry because Dean is cooking. Oh, what is Dean cooking? Tell, tell us, Dean. Maybe we can get um, you cook to sponsor us. <laughs> get some sponsorship for the live. <laughs> And then it says, I think we, we underestimate how hard it is to sew in front of cameras, sewing against time, and dealing with those two. Ugh, well, yeah, oh, ne? Amanda has to sew on camera, but I'm the one who has to deal with those two. So it's, it's you know, we all take, we all bear different burdens. Oh, oh shame, Matthew. Shame, Matthew. Shame. I so feel for you. Let's see. I'm almost there. Freaking hell, man. Oh, am I there? I'm there. I'm there. I'm gonna... Yubel. Yubel, 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 yubel. Okay. Okay. As I said, probably not my base job. Okay. Um, personally, I would have gone, would have liked to have gone over it again to get even closer to my piping. Now that it's sewn, it's easier to actually go and then, you know, it's easier now that it's all held together. So this piping is not going to be perfect. Um, all right. Okay. So now let me explain, because I'm going to just explain how to finish this because... Otherwise, I'm going to have to sew two more rounds on the, on, on, on the line. Okay. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take your lining bit, right side, ne? right side, two, can you see this zip flap? We are going to pin it there, right? So I'm gonna just pin it so that we can actually just so someone do like a a fake turn around. So I'm pinning it to that. I'm gonna show you again. Are you on close up, Matt? I mean, I'm on top cam. Yes. Okay. So can you see there? So that that would be the right side of my zip, but I am pinning it to the the right side of my fabric to the wrong side of the zip but the little flap all right so i'm actually forgetting the, my own plan so i want to pin it like this so we can semi get an idea of what it's going to look like when it's finished so i am going to pin it all the way there okay 
Lisa says that she does this full time, so she's willing to put up with people's naughtiness. Oh, is that? Yeah. Is she? Gail fixes. When you sew the circle, do you go over the zip end? Uh, I did not now because um, I started at the zip and then around because I need these flaps to be loose so I can work with them again. So what I'll do is afterwards, if I need to, if I miss something, I would just quickly hand sew and, and fix it up there. Or the very last um, instruction is to do a top, a top stitch around your zip when you're done. Um, so you can do that and, and, and fix it up. Okay, so can you see what we're doing? That is going to go on the inside. So now, again, I'm going to turn this and I'm going to take the right side of my fabric to the lip wrong side. I'll show you. You'll see just now. I'm going to just pin here so you guys can get because as I said, otherwise I'm going to have to do two more circles live, <laughs> which as you saw is, I, I should really start doing those videos that look like perfection. Like everything is done a hundred times until you get the perfect shoot and the perfect um, result. If you go skew, you say cut, cut. And then you start over, but then I can't do those live. So you guys just have to bear with my failures and my... If we stayed here till five, we can get a perfect cut. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, wait. This is why are you hiding from me? There we go. So there's the other flappy. All right. So, so you can see what is being done is if you look at it like that can you see that that is most now if you think about it that is most how your lining has to sit all right so now having done that we are going to sew this bottom closed but and the ogs will know we need to leave a unsewn bit so we can turn it out in the end all right so I'm gonna just try and pin this so that we can get a semi decent finish to this and that's gonna go there and that's gonna go there just as I would have sewn it, I'm pinning it. Okay, so whenever we do a lining, we always leave a turn out hole. And I used to make it about 10 centimeters, but when you're working with thick, um, like a uh, compressed batting, you actually want to just leave it a little bit bigger. Okay, guys. So now can you see that we've ended up with our lining exactly also in a tube like we did the bag. So what are you going to do now is you are going to take these circles and insert them on each side. Okay. All right. Okay. The problem is... I can't, I'm not going to do that now. It's going to take too long. So what you're going to do when you've done all of this, you've done that, you are going to pull everything through this hole. But because, because we still open on the sides, I can pull it through like this. But you're going to obviously pull it through that little hole that we left because you're not going to have open sides. Okay. So, and then <laughs> you have a lining. And then you're going to take your lining and press it inside your bag. 
I am just gonna take it. He says, you might be making mistakes, but at least you know what you're doing. I wouldn't know where to start with something like this. Bianca says, we love to watch. We are all human and no one is perfect except Lisa. And then Lisa <laughs> said, of course. Okay, so obviously when we're done, we're gonna take those that little hole and we're gonna just sew it closed, all right? So this is not finished, obviously, guys. Um, but this is what you're gonna end up with. Now, what I would do here is I would press and pull these because this is now pinned, I can't. Press and pull them and pin them. And I would then, because can you see there's that bit that you asked about, okay? I would top stitch all the way around here and then just hand sew that to look neat. If you can figure out how to do it neater than this, you're welcome to let us know next week. It's just because we're using those two little flaps again. If I, if I had sewn them flat and neat, I wouldn't be able to lift them and sew the lining to them. All right. But basically, guys, guys, if we can just pull this out and make it look neat. Basically, this is your bag. All right. So, hope you got this and understood. And uh, this is long enough for knitting needles, if anyone needs. And look at that. See, a little pocket on each side. Anyone feel like they can do this, can figure it out the way I explained it? I'm going to go neat in this yeah, out. Fix is awesome. And this is groovy bag. Bang said, yes, birth in the bag. Bang said, going back to school, Amanda. <laughs> well, Lisa said, well, it feels like this, dream, this bag could go into Barbie's dream house. Yeah, ne? <laughs> I am, um, I am, um, I'm the buyer of fabrics that nobody wants. <laughs> I buy fabrics that like is on sale because nobody wants bright stuff like I do. Anyway, so um, I will go and fix this up and because um, I would like to finish it because we also gonna for the event i'm gonna have all the finished products there so you guys can see what the patterns is we we've done um so i have i think that's my job for the weekend is finishing all the projects that i haven't finished on live on live um so we can have it for our uh, event to me says 100 percent hot <laughs> dean says that would make such a cool gym bag <clears throat> It is a gym bag. It is basically a gym bag. It's because I didn't like a gym bag that I made. The previous one was more of a square bag. But um, then, you know, this is sort of the traditional duffel bag. So, yeah. Anything else, guys? Anything else? Save the date, ne? The 9th of June. Sunday, the 9th of June. We are having an event. All right, and guys, if you listen to Smile FM, Dean is on there in the afternoons. <laughs> I'm gonna out him. <laughs> like, how? I'm outing him as a radio presenter. <laughs> oh, so you have a fake neck. Um, no, why? I feel like if you you should you should have a fake name. Like no, fake he name. he needs to be famous for who he is. Yeah, guys, and if ever you want to buy a car, you also need to go look at Dean um, Instagram because he tests cars and then does a review of them. So, yeah, he's really very, um, he's a know-it-all about cars, especially new late latest cars on the market. Frog Mandu says, I need to carry a boat in one like that. I don't think a boat will A fit. boat? A boat. I don't think a boat will. Is it a blow-up boat? It's probably a blow-up boat. Or well, it could be a little boat. It's small like blow a boat. Like a boat for a cat. A boat for a cat? No. Did he say that? No, I'm just... Oh, I'm I was just about to say, saying. okay, if we need... 
Like if you but want like to bother your like, cat, but you have attachment issues. So no, you like Matthew, you, you, that's just strange. I haven't if done it's it, one of those same. small blower boats, yes. Otherwise, you'll have to enlarge the pattern. But yes, it can take a boat. <laughs> I'm sure it could. Rolled up. It can also take like a, a what is that? Um, sleeping bag or a tent. This is the perfect bag. This is the bag. The shape. The tent bags normally come in and they never fit back into their bags. So you could make bigger bags. Um... Lisa Brexit, are those stitch markers or earrings in the top hoop on display behind the van? No the top. Are they on display? Yes, they are on display. No, is, it, is it stitch markers or earrings? Yeah. No, stitch markers. These are all tiny little stitch markers. Should I bring them closer? But we actually have many, many more. Do you want to? I'll top angle it. We have many, many more. We have cool bigger ones also i don't even know if we still have all of these but yeah we have many more stitch markers any questions who's coming um uh, on the said she needs a venue she needs a venue for the 9th of, 9th of june yes i don't want to give it away yet because we haven't actually paid our deposit because we don't trust you people to go and book it out just to... So, so as soon as we've paid our deposit and we know it's ours, um, which should be by next week, we will give you the venue. Okay. I'm very excited. Ooh, scared and excited. Guys, join our WhatsApp groups. Um, you won't miss a thing. We also have an update WhatsApp group. If you don't like chatting and people talking and wah, 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 you can be on our updates group and then you will just get the updates from us when we're doing what, if there's specials, anything like that. Um, mm. And Tanette said, you guys laughing. Um, Bianca said, area question mark, yay. And Tanette said, wish I could. Lisa says she's coming to the event on the 9th of June. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> okay, so the area is is uh, is closer to Canal Walk than Brackenfell. <laughs> I'm not going to give it away. I'm just scared we lose our spot, guys. Uh, let me just... I think that's enough. I think it's yeah. I think I'm just going to book it, pay the deposit, and then I will be open and out there with the venue. We are hopefully getting the invoice and deposit paid tomorrow or sometime this week. So by next week, I will be free to talk about it. But it's it's very accessible for most people in and around Cape Town. If you in Somerset West, you'll always have to travel this way anyway because we are not in Somerset West. But um, we we aim to make it long enough that if you have to travel a little bit, um there is enough time and you guys you know need to spend the time to get to see me and meet me <laughs> yeah so so next week i'll have all the most of the plans and i don't want to give it all away i want to make a big spiel when i get it all done and um very exciting lots of parking no issues ground floor no steps up like yeah very very cool all right any more we need to bianca said can we make it the fabric swap too i don't know why bianca's being greedy um i have a book somewhere where i have my ideas i will put the fabric swap on there they're gonna see the ideas if you don't ask for that no so i'm gonna hide the idea Guys, I'll try and get a good angle so you can see the <laughs> ideas. So that they will play a game. I try and see the ideas. Top angle. There we go. Now we can see them. I'm joking. I didn't do it. <laughs> okay. It's on. It's on the list. But if you have any ideas or any things you would like to do or see or whatever, please, guys, WhatsApp us and, and tell us. Uh, we we are open to new ideas. Um, we obviously can't. We only have like a day, so we can't do like everything. But we wanna 
Um, we want the event to suit you guys, not me. It mustn't suit me. It mustn't be for me. It must be for you guys and you must like it. You must come again next year. All right. Is that it? I don't think there's any other. Dean, is your course well clear? From Monday, this is Fabric 8 show. I don't know what that means, but I am willing to be a model. <laughs> I have a background. Fabric 8 show? Yes. What does that mean? I assume modeling show. I am oh. willing to do it. I have a modeling background. <laughs> as in, I could stand You're in front of have, a model and I, I can have model. a background I, that has a model I can, on it. I can fashion. I can no, you take away my my my, my, my <laughs> I can my I can I can dress models. I've done that. So Amanda can dress like me. three or okay. four seconds per model. I'm telling you, you see things and then you cover them, and then you see them and then you cover them. That's all you do all day long. I've 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 been backstage dressing models at the Cape Town fashion show. Ach, by, okay. the Cape Town fashion. I don't know. And the Cape Town Fashion Week? Week, there we go. Yeah, Fashion Week. I can't believe And that. Um, very, very interesting. Very interesting, but super, super nerve wracking, but very lacquer. Okay, guys, I am off. I am done. It is claw me yellow. I want to go home. I want to go eat. Goodbye, goodbye. Thanks for be joining us. Say lots of say anything. <laughs> Sorry again for not being here for a few weeks. Um, yeah, I had a good excuse. Um, and I, I will definitely see you next week. We have a short, easy pattern next week. And that's sort of a, a sewing tool event. So we'll be making things that we will be using. All right, who's going first? Who do uh, I say bye to? People. YouTube and Facebook. Yes, like and subscribe. Last chance. Like, like and subscribe. subscribe. Poom, ping, poo emojis. If you want to not speak to me, don't. I'll never force you. But press that ping poo emoji. And come on, guys. Subscribe, like, please. This is how you pay me for this. <laughs> is it done? Bye. Okay, bye.